been their undefeated streak on the series. Victories overall. It's Pistol Round getting started. 100 Thieves on the CT pick with the Diffuse Kit coming in for Gratz. Double flash for Himley, as I imagine, or by the Kevlar with default pistols. Utilities on art for the T side as we go to the pistol of our second map. A little bit of utility up for both sides, but it looks like for Fury, it's going to be some early outside presence to come out for the T side. Rushing towards outside, putting down no utility, taking some really early contact jewels as Jacob to find the first. Looking for a little bit more, Jay, rather than falling back, he's continuously trying to fight outside. Oh, Liaz, blind on the headshot, drops that bomb. Jacob's seen it as well. Any more contact? Edit the smoke, stuff. He'll try to tap up against Vinny. Low HP across both these players, and they are really being suffered here in a five versus three scenario. Furia with Henny on single digits of HP and everything. 100 Thieves throwing up a great defensive here on this CT side. As Vinny gets tagged even lower, does get a headshot off against Liaz, but Henny bringing it back against Jacob. 3v2 now. 100 Thieves have lost a number of unnecessary picks, but Furia is still extremely low on the health numbers. Uh, that's the big thing, is how limited they are in terms of the HP department. Trying to take some jewels outside, and it's Vinny. The last one left getting swung on from Gratis Fashion. The P250 in the end is only going to find a couple of kills. 100 Thieves cleaning up that pistol round. And for Furia, it looked like they wanted to take some really dry peaks outside. And as soon as they dropped that bomb, Jay, from there, it all fell apart. They had to continue taking the jewels. There was no way they could have fall back and maybe try to take ramp control or head towards the upper bomb side. They had to even commit to taking or picking that bomb back up. And for 100 Thieves, they just continued fighting outside. They did not let them pick up that bomb and take that control back. Straight out of the gate here for the T side. Arch trying to go for the vent dive and immediately shut down by the nades. That's the bomb being dropped in vent as well. Well, the CTs know about that, but uh, they'll definitely have the advantage because Fury have got to rechallenge that position, go down to the B site in the end. And as rotations go counter towards that B site play with the uh, teaser making their way downstairs to the ramp room, they'll of course spot that bomb, but aggressing in towards hell. JKS gets three simple headshots on his FAMAS, two for those kills. P250 is the last frag, and Vinny does grab that bomb, potentially up for the plant, but the CTs have responded in hole. There's no way left for him in this round. Uh, there really isn't two players already towards that lower bomb side, bringing in pretty much every single rotation. And for 100 Thieves, not allowing the bomb plan to go down is obviously very important. That was a round, but it wasn't a force buy from Fury. They only really upgraded in terms of utility to get that bomb down towards that lower bomb site in the early vent dive. Didn't quite happen, so not that extra bit of cash injection. A 2-0 start, though, coming out for the 100 Thieves side. And for Fury up, it's a Creed coming out for Vinny to back up the rest of the AKs. All right, seeing a little bit of use of the Krieg over in recent months. I mean, ever since his nerf, it's not as prominent in Counter-Strike, but surprised to see it come out for Fury in this one. Utility set in with the nade up against Vinny to start things off. 77 HP and that Krieg already getting tagged. Not a massive amount. Scout of gratisfaction with the first contact outside that position. Unable to land his tag on a player at red box. Still facing, looking for the kills. It's Jacob and Yuri trading trades back and forth here for the CTNT sides. I'll tell you what, so far on the T side, it has been very dry from Furia outside. They have really not put down a lot of these cross smokes. And the bomb gets dropped again, Jay. This is twice now that Furia have to try and pick up this bomb outside. 100 Thieves are in a great position. Yeah, they've taken a lot of damage, but oh, unfortunately, they can't hold on to the advantage. The trade comes back from Caserato to try and split to the A bomb side. Rats continues tapping, but can't land the headshots, can only get tags in, and even then, all three players right now are on 100 HP. For Master of Azza faces outside, sees Yuri, but the AK headshot comes straight in for the Fury account. SMG is close range, though. Henny has no idea. That's a frag for Leah. Sees the second man, but can't connect the shots. Rats will go down to the SMGs. All that remains. He gets two kills, dropped to four points of health. But now with a bomb plant, they secure a one on one. And the HP differential is so massive. 96 points the difference between Liaz and Yuri. I tell you what, Liaz is going to try and see if he can sneakily backstab his way into the heaven position. Now for Yuri, does he read the play to drop into the vents to lower? Yes, he oh, does. he does, Jay. This is perfect. Absolutely fantastic timing. And for Liaz, as soon as he clears this upper bomb site, he's going to realize, no, it's a play towards lower. Straight in, straight down. Three kills for Yuri up for a quadra. Liaz moves in. Oh, doing damage. The headshot does not connect from the AK. The spray does not transfer to the man. Nade on Yuri's position. He gets out of dodge just in time. 
The Az continues to sneak forward here, checking out Dark. Does not see the player at Old Toxic. Oh, Ooh. they're not even going to catch each other. Liaz, will he see him? He won't. It's Pixels the difference. You're being spotted now. Liaz comes up with another clutch on low points of health. And SMG picking apart three in a furious side. And it's almost like we're looking at a mirror, Jay. He was on 4 HP in that 1 on 2 clutch on train, got naded down to 3 HP and 1 out the clutch. Now another one to come through. We saw the spams coming out from the walls out towards Hart to take him down to 4 HP. He tried to be sneaky and backstabbing in through heaven, realized the fact that there's no play to the upper bombs, like the vent dives come through. And on just 4 HP, the timing could not be any better for him. And really, Yuri had no idea that he was behind him. A 3-0 start from 100 Thieves and another big clutch to come out from the Australians. Unreal stuff there from the SMG. I don't know how he does it. I believe it's the second time that Liaz has gone for a clutch in that similar sort of scenario as well compared to, you know... Absolutely. It, 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 was, it was on train, I believe it was, when he was on the B site rotation to A. Yeah. Here on the CT side, it will prove to be massive. Look at the buy coming in from Fury. It is broken... To a T. I mean, the, the, the money's in the most awkward of spots right here. You know, these guys have, uh, you know, sort of force bought, but they're sort of like trying to go for a half by scenario because that's not all the players are bought in, in, in like down to zero. So I don't know what the players, I don't know what the call is from Fury in this investment. Well, they realize, Jay, that they're going to be on 3,400 max round loss bonus into that next round. So. And trying to do as much damage as possible into that one-on-one -on -one means that the CT economy is incredibly low, but outside they can't get the trades together and they know where their AWP is. This is a potential for Azza to try and swing. Art is so blind, they know exactly where he is. The double HEs to come through. This should deal with damage. Oh, he's down to five points of health, but he's still alive. Okay, Serato's not though. His bat line is going to get recovered by Art. Four on two is Jacob, the only casualty, does go down. Art on five points of health. Henny with the Galil trying to peek in from the hot position as Grax Faction does take Art to four. So, Henny alone. Clutch and a half to make happen without the five power to make it. Ooh, gets that headshot that a flick. Okay, that's something, but 20 seconds. Got to act a bit quicker. Got to find his way on. Potentially take a second kill. No, Grax has the angle locked out with the AWP type positions and a 4 0 start for 100 Thieves. And that was one thing that I think 100 Thieves struggled with in the first half of Train J was getting off to that slow start. And we saw them being 0 to 6 down, but they've really turned things around going into their CT side of Nuke, putting a lot of added pressure early on. A bite to come through from Fury up. You've got to think for these guys, with Nuke being one of their strongest maps in the map pool, they need to get a chokehold on the situation, need to be able to find a bit of a response here. They can't allow these rounds to continue to go the way of the CT side. A lot of outside presence has come through from Fury. This time around, though, Jay, I expect a little bit more utility, but look how aggressive Jacob is. Ready for several, takes damage. This is some out towards Art, and in the end, Yuri will take him down. A opening frag for the Fury account as Azza pops open the vents, expects him to go towards outside onto the secret position. Crash Faction flashed out here, smokes up, sees a pixel, and lands a shoulder. Art to 18 HP. Tagged through the red box, I'd imagine. As Vinny and Azza get trading, Azza's still down here, sees the bomb on the back of Yuri, gets that spray together, tries to transfer it back to Henny, but forced out at one point of health, will eventually fall down, but the damage being done allows Gratz to swing in with the AWP, leaving Vinny alone on two points of health with the bomb out of his control. This should be around for 100 Thieves. Uh, you'd think so. Bomb control, Vinny, there's really not much he can do here. Do they know about the potential, though, that the vent dive can come through? They've got a player in towards Secret itself, and Vinny just seeing if he can isolate some of these jewels. He's even clearing out towards double doors and maybe thinking about a player that's pushed forward towards radio. But he's just, the time's not on his side. The HP certainly isn't. The smoke off towards secret. That's going to give his position away. Lashes in. AK of Vinny grabs that bomb, tries to sneak it out position, but no, Gratz will catch him. End of the smoke. A 5-0 start for 100 Thieves. This CT side definitely looking good. And obviously, you're expecting the CT side to go particularly well for 100 Thieves. A massive difference of 66% of their rounds won on CT side. They can get a good half in here. If they can continue the one-sided aggression against Fury, then they'll have a chance to set up for the second half. But for the most part, Fury just needs to take it on the chin and focus on their own second half, on their own CT defensive. And you've got to think, out of the five rounds that 100 Thieves have won, we've only seen a single bomb plant coming out from Fury up. I certainly think outside, they need to be using a little bit more uh, more utility, Jay. It's been some very dry fires, and the city side have come out on top. 
And nades out towards Squeaky as they're trying to spam through out through Squeak Door. A little bit of damage done onto Vinny, but for Furio, they're trying to boost up and ask found the opener. Looking for Azza next up, doubles in. 11 HP for the man, gonna pass that AK back off to his teammate. Of course, only limited supply for the Furious side. Liaz moves in, Molotov's down, Gratis Faction with the AWP. Does not see the player that crossed Art going downstairs on a Lurk play. The plant will come through open for the uh, entrance. And 100 Thieves opt to fall out. They're not going to concede their weapons. They're going to save the AK, the M4, and the AWP. Going to the next round with a pretty decent buy up. And with the economy state being where it is for 100 Thieves, it makes a lot of sense. Furia will definitely sort of hold off against them. It, it shouldn't be too much of a worry for them with the AKs. And now the two M4s being picked up. They didn't drop so many rifles, then yeah, 100 Thieves probably could have gone for the retake. Yeah, look, they needed a trade back there. We saw Art got boost up over the back vent to spot out the player towards heaven. You can see on the rafters there. And once that happens, as is towards back vent, just trying to see if he can get a little bit of an opening through the edge of that smoke, and it doesn't come through. Art gets two kills on the entry, and they just clear out the upper bomb site. The molly comes out absolutely perfectly timed onto Liaz. He realizes that, that he just needs to fall back, can't allow uh, to take any damage from that Molotov. They'll know exactly where he is, so he just backs off. They go for the save. And for Furia, that wasn't even a full gun round, Jay. That was just a half by investment with a couple of AKs. Yeah, Furia kickstarting their rounds now. Back in with the rifle rebuy of 100 Thieves. Already the utility damage coming in against Gratis Faction. The nade from Art will open things up again outside of Squeak Door. Will he swing it at a double this time? Well, he's got plenty of teammates to back him up. The CTs on the cross locked out here towards the main position. And Furia decide to rotate back towards outside. There is no contention from the CT side outside either. Going to swing in from main instead of Jacob. And they've got free access to the secret area. And this is something that they've struggled with, Jay, in the past, is getting this kind of map control. Now they've got so many options. They can head towards Secret. They can start to get health control. They can even go back towards Ramp. They can split up through Heaven. They've got so many options, and 100 Thieves realize the fact, look, let's just see if we can try and take this lobby control. We've got two players in through Hut, starting to overextend. As has picked up that AWP, drop from Gratis Faction, and for Fury Up, they could just slow it down and play the man advantage. Time is short, Azza and JKS. Ready to receive the Molotov coming in at Squeak Door, might give some information away, but Flash missed, and so does the orb shot. Keserato, JKS trading back and forth. Keserato gets his double in, though, as the A defensive falls, and Liaz is left for dead on the B side, just left to defend. This will be a second to the board of the Furious side. Liaz just looking to hold on to his weapon. Back in dark, he's 100 HP, he should be able to stay alive, so. Second to the T side, and that's crippling to 100 Thieves. They put a lot of money behind the two players, had to reinvest. We'll have, of course, Liaz and Jacob, we will have a little bit more cash to, to work with, but I wouldn't, I would be very surprised that they went for a force buy here. Yeah, look, money's, money's really not great. And 1900, you'd expect that, uh, save onto the M4, upgrade a couple of pistols if you want to. A big kill from Liaz, at least making sure that uh, they're trying to keep the economy as low as possible. But yeah, it shouldn't be a force buy investment to come out from 100 Thieves. They'll be able to get a buy into the next. And for Furia, if I'm at least 100 Thieves, I'm thinking, okay, maybe there's an opportunity that we push out for a ramp and take lobby control. Because when you think about what Furia have done on the T side, Jay, they've either taken a lot of control outside or it's been upper takes, executions, into vent dives. We have really seen hardly anything out from ramp for Furia. There will be no force investment here from the 100 Thieves camp. Mag 7 for Jacob will be the main concern, of course, for the Furious side. Of course, Liaz also has the M4 towards outside. Boosting up against Fury's position. The silo area will not give away the ghost, will not give away the vision that the CTs need to get the kill. JKS hunting with the Deagle Hunt. Have a quick, get the uh, quick headshot to start. He's seeing the man. So can't find the line up here for the opener. Liaz does catch Art though. Trade from Keserato does come up. USP is never going to get that kill. And A site's on the T side control. The only rifle drops, and so does the round. Yeah, not really too much 100 Thieves can do here. Maybe just see if he can find some exit kills. It was really all down to Liaz to do the majority of the damage. Only gets away with one kill. You can see Jacob starting to push forward out through ramp and taking the lobby control back. 
One more kill, Jay. Can at least keep the economy as low as possible for that T side. But for 100 Thieves, it's all about looking for exits. Vinny with the M4, just shoulder baiting. The force of peek in from one of the CTs, getting greedy here for Azur and co, but they won't. I mean, they realize that this is definitely just not gonna, this is just not gonna be around for them. They've, they've just got to concede that third and take it on the chin. Look towards the rifles to the next round. If they keep the Mag 7 in for Jacob, oh, the knife's out, the worst timing in the world. Third for Uri uh, Furia, I should say. No exits, it seems, for the CT camp. They just timed that Mag 7 correctly. Uh, they're they're going to be kicking themselves after that because that could have been a kill. Yeah. Yeah, look, that's that's one of the ones where you think, man, if I just had my weapon out. They've got to think for Jacob, too, especially with how close that was to the bomb going down. A little bit surprising that he does have his knife out there. But anyway, it's Furia finding three on the board. 100 Thieves looking for a response back in. They've got the AWP on to, for Gratisfaction. And Furia really starting to build up this T-side economy. Yuri and Henny in particular. And Serato too, all sitting around that 8k, 9k mark. And for 100 Thieves, we haven't really seen a lot of aggression on their CT side. It's been pretty passive for the most part. The only aggression we've really seen was Jacob outside towards the T-Red boxes. But other than that, it's been really deep into the sights on the CT side. Rats with the AWP on outside position. I believe he actually got that kill inside towards the hut area, but either way. The frag found against Art, the first man to drop here for the Furia side. Jacob contesting outside with his M4 at the edge of the garage area. Has a top of Marshmallow, sees Vinny, sees Keserato, gets his two. Henny can't frag back with the AWP. He's one of two players left for the Furia side. No damage done to the CTs. He's desperate to get this kill out here, but he just can't seem to land the quick scope or the no scope. Sees Azza, but goes for the vent dive instead, and Azza still thinks he's there at Squeaky. He's crossed, and Furia will try and make their way into B. Uh, they heard that though, they heard the footsteps down through vents, so the information's already come through. Gratis Fashion waiting for the Lurker to come out from lobby, and now Henny tries wow. to see if he can get the bomb plant to the lower bomb site, doesn't even do so. Not a single point of damage has been done to that CT side. Azza did such a great job of Hup being able to really uh, just scrutinize that vent dive, and from there, Furia, rather than just going in for the bomb plant, you see Henny trying to see if he can fight to lower, and that was just one of the, probably the biggest shutdown rounds we've seen this entire series. The perfect round from 100 Thieves. So rare. All five alive, not a single point of damage done. AKs, M4s, AWP, and the Gratz. Meanwhile, Furia have their own rifles out and a lot of utility, a lot of HEs in particular being sent out. Fast plays in, as they're going to spray through the smoke. Take down one at a squeak door. Art to fall first. Keserato gets down through the vents. Vinny's on his way there as well, but only one player is going to give up the information. They're going to be very careful about this on the T side line. Still burst out from Lias, trading damage between him and Keserato. Nade on towards the decon door. Will he fall? It won't land deep enough, but the door will get destroyed, so no further info can be given up, and they've got an easy line into the back line. I'll tell you what, this actually looks like it's going to be an upper player from Furia. Even though they've got lower control out from Vance, they've got a player that's starting to make their way up through secret. You've got Yuri outside towards the top of hut, or top of main, I should say, just to see if he can get any info. Shadows, though, the timing on the peak from Jacob could not be any better. And even for Keserato, the secret player is so incredibly low, can't catch off Jacob down to 2 HP. But now the information's been given up that it's really not a lower play, but in fact an upper play. Timing on that face from garage area. Jacob gets away alive. Now it's Jake has to step up. AK off to the corner. Okay, so right, we're going to try to join his teammates. It looks like they're going to go towards A. No, they actually can't rotate through the vents. Did not hear those footsteps. It's slow pacing here from 100 Thieves on the ramp rotation. The bomb will not yet cross. And they are very heavily tagged up here at 100 Thieves. This retake is going to be real difficult. Man, it's not going to be an easy one. The one big bonus is how much utility they've got. They've got a ton of flashes, a smoke, two incendiaries, and everyone is coming in from the same angle, Jay. It's four CTs all trying to retake from ramp. Martov's flashes. Nades up as the AKs face in. They'll take out Lias. They'll take out JKS. Grass faction gets the trade to a two on two. Sees the man in the back lines and doubles up. The case of Otto's low. He gets a frag back and two HP for Jacob. No kit on the man. The AWP desperate to find the kill, but case of is repositioned. And I don't think Jacob is going to get away with this one. Not enough time. Got to grab the AWP. Got to save it. 
as it will be a fourth for Furia. What's a recovery in that round? And utility usage was fantastic from 100 Thieves, but the trades were better from Furia. And it really seemed like that 100 Thieves had a really good read on the situation there. Even in that man advantage, Jay, the rotations came in really quickly to that ramp entrance. But for Furia, it was all about peeking on each other's contacts and just making sure that they're, they're wasting as much time as possible. Say Jacob in the end with the AWP, just trying to hold on to it rather than going for that one-on-one -on -one attempt up against Kaysarado. Furia, as soon as their streak of three was ended, a response comes in from 100 Thieves and now a response from Furia. So the economy line's looking incredibly low from 100 Thieves, even though they get a full buy across J. Passed out from R again, straight into the open, but gets punished for it. Vinny trying to hold a secondary kill, but no, Azza takes them both down. Eyes behind the smoke, Henny gonna get seen. Azza does end up dropping with Yuri getting a frag to a three on two scenario. And now the two on two, outside of main. Both players tagged up for the T side. JKS in hut deals with Henny, sprays through the wall, knows that Yuri's there. Bomb out outside the lobby, and JKS will find the swing to a 2k. 100 Thieves at a very manic defensive. Barely coming out there with the round itself, but three players falling to so the economy is going to be a bit shaky for the CT side. And it comes down to the two veterans on this lineup, JKS and Azza, a duo that's been together for sort of six or seven years now. Both of those guys having so much impact in their upper bomb site. We see Furia uh, going for something that we haven't seen from them before. A very quick upper execution out from Hutt, and from there, Azza gets a couple of kills. JKS follows up with two himself. 100 Thieves, they are really starting to put pressure on this CT side. 7 of 4 up. If they can get away with, what, 9 rounds you would expect, Jay, at mo like at least, that would be fantastic going into the second half. Oh, I'll bring my point up about that in a moment because it looks like it's going to be a very fast play from Furia up through Hell into the A site. Well, they've got outside control as well they can take here. Warp of Gratis Faction checking for info. Now knows that the window got opened here. Heard that, Mac 10. The AWP ready to receive. Flashes over towards the outside presence. Oh, they've seen the gun barrel. Ooh. Art knows. Here's the scope. Sees the man. Takes that headshot immediately. Opens up the round for the Furious side. Uh, they don't know about Jacob, though. Oh, Caserado's holding the angle. Down to 15 points of health. There is at least a trade back to get this 4-4. Four and four. And Jacob is starting to push in through Lobby. He's going to get information that Lobby's completely clear. And it's got to be outside presence from Furia. Or oh, ramp control. They don't have that part of the map for the CT side. Yuri will make his way downstairs. He's got two to deal with in Liaz and Jacob. SMG yes, is close. Yuri's on high HP. Then a Molotov back towards Dark should force him off position. He gets himself to the ramp area. As Art rounds the corner, does not land the no scope. And Azza will take that frag. Vinny trades. JKS trades it right back for his kill in the round. 50 HP for him, though. Going to be difficult to land another good frag. Liaz distracting against Yuri. Nades up. Sprays good, but not good enough. 13 HP. Yuri stays alive. 20 seconds. The bomb's on A. You've got to get planted here. And a swing from JKS could still deny it here. If he can just time it well against Henny, if he doesn't plant for closed, Molotov towards Hut now, they know what's going on. Ah, uh, Yuri's gonna backstab JKS, especially if the timing works out, if they can slow it down. The JKS, though, already looking like he wants to get onto the site itself. He needs to wait for Jacob to try and back him up. Henny with the Jiggle P coming out, and it's all down to Jacob on just 15 points of health. They'll realize how much damage they did to him on the CT side, trying to use his utility to force Henny out towards the site itself, trying to spam through the flames. And Fury up just a couple bullets away from being able to convert their fifth, and Yuri undetected out from Squeak. He's going to be able to find the last kill. Wow, what a round to come out from Fury up. It seemed like it was all falling apart there, Jay, but the fact that in a two on two, they bring it back and it all really comes down to Henny. And now 100 Thieves down to double eco positions. No force up? Okay, it does come through in the end. SMG for Azza, shotgun for Jacob, Deagle, CZ's in for everybody else. And 100 Thieves play up. Contact, look at Art and Caserato straight out of the gate, looking back to the bat lines of the uh, A bomb site. There's no one there directly on the site itself. They've driven 100 Thieves away with their hit. Will they go for a save for the next eco round where they try and push in and lock their way onto a good retake? They will get Art for the opening kill, but Gratz is on 17 HP, so not the best of setups here for the CT side. Oh, trying to get the AK. JKS is just going to be able to pick it up. Maybe see if you can work with a bit of an edge on that smoke out for a main. But for Fury up, it's setting Ooh. up a bomb side, and now it's a, th a five on three. This is still very doable for 100 Thieves. Match for Liaz will set up Azra and Jacob to enter. 
Flash faced away, second flash coming through. Vinny's gonna get completely blind. They spot him, they drop right down onto him, they take that kill. Yuri comes up with two. Max down until on site is Yuri, triples Henny, gets that frag back, and now it's all left to Gratz. Sees one in the corner, knows that there's one towards Hut. He just could not hold on. Very good effort there from 100 Thieves, but it just wasn't enough to get it over the line. A five on three scenario, and Fury is still coming out on top, now within one of the lead. You mentioned 100 Thieves getting to nine rounds on CT side with the way that Fury have gone back and forth and with their CT side coming up in the second half. I'm not sure that'll be enough here. Yeah, look, that, that's the thing, right? You think in that round there for 100 Thieves playing retake set up at that uh, upper bomb site. It worked out decently for the first couple of kills. I saw JKS finding that five on three with the AK, but I weren't able to convert any further. We saw the couple of flashbangs in from heaven, but look at the aggression coming out from Ram. Very quick with the pistols to at least trade out a single kill. Looking for a little bit more. Jake and finds one. So two kills with just USPs. It's uh, a fair bit of damage so far, Jake. They can be happy with that. One more kill would just be extra bonus, but for Furia, they are very, very close now to being out of type the scoreline at 7-7. Seven to seven. Yeah, if they could take down one of the low money line players like Vinny, for example, or Yuri, then that could be a, a massive amount going into the last round of the half. And at this point, Azza's just kind of got to go for it and hope he can find the man, but... Good effort so far from 100 Thieves. I don't think that their current damage will limit the buyer, though. Henny can drop. Hearing footsteps. How's Azza going to play this one out? Outside for Yuri's position. He sees him, but Yuri shuts him down. Two low HP, seven all. Furia. Much like how 100 Thieves did in their first half of the last map. Back from the brink after an awkward start. The buy coming in for the CT side. We'll see the M4s. No AWP potential seen. Very little of the AWP in the last like handful of rounds. And he's got it out for the CT camp though. So Furia, one last round to turn a half lead here on round 15. And you've got to think, buy's not looking fantastic for 100 Thieves. They're going to work with a couple of Famasas going into round 15. Now, outside presence of just a single player. A lot of outside control out from the CT side. But now, very quick play coming in from Art, taking a hell of a lot of damage to start the round off. And he's trying to wrap in through to the A bomb side. But JKS finds the first. K Serato with the trade. For one, AK pops out. Azza still held towards this corner. Defending position so, so well. But Vinny catches it with utility in his hands. Grass Faction trades it to three on three. AWP on site does not land the headshot. The player's out towards heaven. Does turn to Grats at main. And Yuri will be the last man that remains here. Knife's out trying to go for the Ventime. He's got the bomb on his back. Can't secure the plant here. But needs to fend off the 1v2 retake. Uh, how's Yuri going to play this? Does he want to try and play passive in the side? Does he want to try and overextend? I'm planning out. Both players coming in through the single door at decontamination. Yuri is right on top of them. He's going to hear the footsteps start to reposition. That's the first kill. Jacobs on 100 HP against a Yuri. Trying to see if he can get the headshot angle through. Jacobs just going to be able to win out the fight to find the lead going into the second half. A 8-7 to seven scoreline for 100 Thieves. Replicating what we saw on train, but we're going to go to a short break. We'll be back in a few moments. There's no defense, I'll buy it if I want it I'm going supersonic, come on back for it Alright, okay, running out of luck Too much in my club, Nishi run it up Why you always tripping like you talk? Cause you're not my team pop Shawty, I know Why you always tripping like you talk? Cause you're not my team pop My team pop huh. Who really got the block? Talk about it, but 
no show, what's that about? These boys only flexing with that allowance. We swimming in the shower. I'm only fing you if your toe skew. Brown skin, goddamn, that's my soul food. I'm winning for the record, check your memo, bro. Generation of destruction, you'll remember us. LSD used to jump on methadone. Only THC, then the seat is my new lean. We no longer up next on top. Play your girl when she kind of my check. There's no defense, I'll buy it if I want it. I'm going supersonic, come on back for it. Alright, okay. Running out of luck, too much in my cup. Nisi, run it up. Why you always tripping like you talk? Cause you're not my team, Bob. Shorty, I know. Why, why you always tripping like you talk? Cause you're not my team, Bob. My team, Bob. Much like 100 Thieves, Furia brought that back from a very awkward start on their own map pick and now into the pistol of their CT side. Will they run away with their favorite map in this series? We're about to find out as the pistol goes live for 100 Thieves. Utility set for Grats and as a nades on towards Squeak Door already. Art's got utility for the CT side, but Henny's going to be first to fall. That's a good start for the raid boss here. And they're waiting for more aggression. You can see Liaz punishing Art with the Glock. And now with a five on three, options have now been able to open up out through the ramp room. And they're going to start to take some control. Great utility usage out, forcing Yuri deeper and deeper back. And 100 Thieves going to go quickly into this lower bomb site. Rotations need to come in for Furia. Straight in towards the site bomb. Plant yet to be received. Vinny's going to open up Decon Door. Though, see the bomb plot. Regretus faction taps up, trying to force him away. Smoke does go down to allow the plant. I think that's behind hard cover here for Gratz. Okay, Serato contesting over at the double doors, though. So, CT's on retake from all angles. But a five-on-three situation for 100 Thieves. They're definitely in the driver's seat right here. If they can win this pistol, it'll give them a nice boost up into the start of the half here. Gratz tapping through the smoke. So, when going to catch some players off. It's facing for Mini. Gets that one headshot doing damage to Gratz Faction. Next, blood splatters over to the back wall. Faces around the corner. Gets that head on. Looking for his 3k up in the back line. Liaz also taking challenge. Takes one man down. But Vinny's done all the damage here. Leaving it all in case to right with a one versus one. Tapping on the bomb. No kit in play for the CT side. And no time left to win this clutch. It'll be 100 Thieves with nine. A big pistol to win for the Aussies. Uh, it means a lot. It really does going forward. That's their way back in. Now you've got to think it all really came down to Liaz. The, it just he gets so much. He gets so much impact. He gets three kills. And um, what I love there from Hunter Thieves is the JKS is just jiggle peeking out. Gets an opening kill from the P250 out from Squeak Door. And from there they wait for the aggression to come out from Hut uh, from uh, Ramp I should say. And they realise they've seen it on Train. They've seen it on Nuke that Furia when they're down a man advantage they like to over aggress. They like to overextend to find a man advantage back and getting punished for it. It's a five on three. They go quickly into that lower bomb side. They drive Yuri deeper and deeper back into the hell position. And the retake looked pretty decent from Furia considering the circumstance that they were in, but bomb plan goes down, post plant out, and in the end, as to win out the one-on-one, -on -one, just wasting as much time as possible. It's 100 Thieves using their first tactical J going into this anti-eco. Now, one thing I said on train is 100 Thieves, one of their biggest weaknesses with this core is dealing with the anti-eco. So that's probably why the pause has come out for I'm a pet and Azza to have a bit of a chat to realize, right, we've got the opportunity to get to double digits. We'll probably realize the fact that Fury are, for are forcing. We can't lose this momentum. Galil's in, AK for Liaz and the Mac 10 of course in for JKS. The Eagles, of course, on a force by for Furia. Didn't go for the force in the last round, uh, in the last, sorry, conversion round, I should say, when they lost the pistol in the first half, but here up this time, it's Gratz going to open things up by bursting in, taking out Yuri. Secondary kill, of course. Five on four scenario, 100 Thieves have 
Art to deal with in case Serato on the bomb site. Three players actually total with a player also being observation and Art takes down that one deep red shot, unable to get the second. Vinny and case Serato crossfire. Lot Lee has being seen as they get tagged up heavily. A lot of damage being done to this T side line, but with a four on two, 100 D still maintain a heavy man advantage. No, Fury will probably just have to save now. Henny and Case Serato, last couple left. And really no way into winning out this round. And two on four. Yeah, they've done a hell of a lot of damage onto Liaz and Azza. They can be a bit disappointed that they weren't able to trade out those kills. But the matter is, hold on to the weapons, bring it into the following. And 100 Thieves, what a perfect start going into their T side. Get to double digits, put 10 rounds up. It's going to be another eco from Furia, looking at a potential 11th. And for 100 Thieves, looking at the potential of, maybe it's calling it a little bit too early, but certainly on the mind of at least I'm a pair and Azza is the fact we can actually 2-0 this. We can really start to put a lot of pressure on and force Furia to make a lot of mistakes going into the early gun rounds. At least Kay Serato gets the Galil out alongside his head Kevlar, so there's a little something to work with in the rifle department here for the Furia camp. As you mentioned, 10-7, to 7, double digits for 100 Thieves, looking at 11 Assuming they don't concede to this anti-eco. They've got a deagle on Yuri already. Oh, that's going to buy a Zeus as well. So there is firepower potential. And again, with these two rifles being saved in from the last round, it's an opportunity that presents itself over for the CT line. But... Fury up. Definitely on the back foot here. 100 Thieves. Trying to convert this round. Trying to convert this advantage. Look towards the rifles, an 11-7 advantage, and it'll be an advantage that may well uh, carry them forward here on this D side. The Eagles up the Vinny, spams through, does not get the kills. Molotov in against Yuri's position, and that will force them away as they make their way towards the B side. One player at Decon, second player rotating with the Galil. Art can't do much here. It's mostly going to rely on case of Art to do something, and Grass Faction immediately shuts him down. Oh, they're dealing with this eco like they've got nothing. Like, it's just like they've got USPs. They're just rushed out towards ramp. The trades come in so quickly. And 100 Thieves have been pretty aggressive on this T side so far, Jay. They have really not uh, been slow and methodical at all. It's been very aggressive, dictating the pace of the game. A Yuri and Henny just seeing if they can mop up any more exit kills between them. 100 Thieves, though, even though a few players have taken damage, it looks like five players are going to stay alive. The Zeus in the end there for Yuri. He's not going to be able to find anything. 11 on the board. Fury are going into their first rifle round, Jay, and you'd expect at least an AWP to come out from Henny, and that's all they'll be able to afford. A bonus round here for 100 Thieves, and whether this will spur momentum for Fury is another question entirely. Personally, I wouldn't let them get away with this, but 100 Thieves will make their choices and they'll have a buy-up in the next round regardless, so it is understandable and justifiable, I think, from the T-side line. Mac 10 for JKS will get out immediately. Art towards the outside positions is hoping to swing wide and take some players, but no contact here. It's very passive from Furia. Damage being done. They're going to hear those tags out. Sprays through the walls. Okay, Serato and Art, early damage done to them, but not in massive amounts. You've got to think of this AWP of Henny. If they don't use utility outside, this could be a pretty easy sightline in towards the lockers. 100 Thieves establishing a bit of outside presence with a couple of players with the bomb. You see Furia putting a, a lot of attention, a lot of pressure out towards that squeaky door, forcing 100 Thieves further back. And baiting out a lot of this utility. Look how much is left on the CT side. You've got a couple of incendiaries, a single flash and two smokes. And we're not even getting past the minute marker yet. Oh, Henny's seen at least one cross and a second player. So much information. That's three players he's seen now outside. And little do they know. I mean, he could have taken those shots, but in reality, he's just looking towards that slight gap in that uh, very tight angle to hold. Now Art's shoulder baiting, seeing him incendiary back to try to stall the time. m is going to hold off. He knows there's at least three players here. Whether they have info on the fourth is another question entirely. Henny's going to reposition, try and hold off the gap over between Secret and Main. Two players to potentially face up. They back up a little bit and 100 Thieves second guessing their decisions. They do go back outside. Henny takes out one of Gratz. Mac 10 moves closer for JKS. Henny and Yuri continuing the frag counts. And that information play for Furia has worked wonders for them. Azur and Jacob are stand alone. They will get one frag, but bomb dropped in the open. 15 seconds. Got to split in towards the A site right now. And they're just going to grab AKs. Probably save him. AK moving up towards Rafters gets that frag, but they haven't got much more time to get to the bomb site. So these will just be exit kills. This will be an eight for Furia. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's an opportunity to pick up the AWP, but I think Jacob realizes that he may get hunted. It's still a pretty expensive round for Furia. 
three players go down and for 100 thieves all it came down to is that they're just getting red so so massively there uh, henny outside spots so many players outside crossing into secret that all he needs to do is rotate a couple of players towards lower hold the sight line out from the the lockers position and from there establish the crossfire from the upper players the fury up won that round off the basis of information and jay i was wondering when we were going to see the pp -pee bison or like the p90 and finally it's come out for Vinny. look at jay care straight out towards the vent he's made his way too oh, far forward no. though Missed the vent, the hit, and made his way way too far out. That's a kill to start things off, and P90 will now take combat. There's the majority of T-side forces. Gratis faction, and as a take bound, both Vinny and Kate Serato, though. Two for one. Favor to the T-side. One player on rotate. That's Art with an MP9. Told up against the majority T-side forces. Spotted one before the smoke bloomed, but held away from the site. Henley gets his kill instead. Three on three for the retake. And they may have been punished for their mistake out through the vent dive of JKS, but they didn't in the ramp control. Three versus three post plant. Liaz is getting very aggressive to try and take some rules. And now it's all down to Haney. It's not going to come through. An instant reset with the money line. Fury are going to be on an eco. And a hundred thieves with JKS going too far forward, getting caught completely in the open. They explode out from ramp. They trade the two players instantly and start to get aggressive in the three on three post plant. Liaz pushing so far forward towards the ramp entrance. A hundred thieves, my goodness, Jay, that was an explosive round from them. And Fury are going to be down to eco status unless a hundred thieves can see to the Zeus of art. This could well be 13 8 on Furious Map Pit when a hundred thieves are up by one in the series already. Look at Art, look how close he's going to play here. Henny to fall first up, but it's flying right past him to the here. The tag damage, they'll take down Vinny instead. Jacob goes down. P2K up for it. Couldn't grab the rifles, and he does get shut back in the end. Two kills for the CT side, but three to return for 100 Thieves. And while they did put their best efforts on that sneaky payout position, unless they can get a headshot back towards these outside players, I doubt they'll be able to win the round here, Furia. And more damage. Yuri going to fake that he's pushing forward into that lobby position. K Serato starting to rotate towards lower. And it's all mind games here. 100 Thieves looking like they want to try and split into this upper bomb site. K Serato are coming in through the back lines now. They would have heard a little bit of this heaven presence, but it's really all down to Yuri and K Serato. He needs to be able to get quick on their tail. Eagle set and ready. Looking back up here towards the A site, hearing footsteps evading vision. Takes that face case. Serato comes up with one good frag, but Liaz will trade it, and therefore they hold control. 13 to 8, 100 thieves. Three rounds away from breaking the streak of Furia. They've gone 5 0 in best of three series so far in the Pro League. And they have guaranteed themselves a top two position, but 100 thieves. What a victory this would be for them to bring themselves back out of that uh, very dangerous sort of border position. It absolutely will. And I've got to be honest, Jay, I did not think that 100 Thieves were going to be one of the teams up for consideration of taking a best of three victory away from the unbeaten streak of Fury up. 13 to 8. They are so close. And this is such an important um, um, a series to win too, Jay, because they're on sort of the brink of going down towards the, you know, the, the bottom four and the top four. They're kind of in the middle at the moment. And this would be a very, very big victory, but it really needs to come down to a vital round here. Art getting spammed Ooh. through. He's down to 13 points of health. Already the big fragger of the automatic weapons is going to be pretty limited on what you can do in this round. AUG low, Yuri and Henny also tagged up. Blind fire from the Seaside players who have not received any damage of their own right here. They are set and ready for whatever they want to do. Outside control with the smokes coming down. Molotov towards Secret. So I'm on an outside play, but reality is it's going to be an A hit out of lobby. It's all down to JKS and Gratis Faction. Whenever they want to strike up here, they've got one player on site, but a wraparound towards ramp. So suddenly Vinny becomes the main focal point. Well, the thing is that Jacob's been able to lurk outside, so he can cut the rotations off of the CTs trying to dive down into the secret position. Oh, but the AWP, look at the reposition coming out from Henny. He's blind off the angle, but he gets the information through. Now they can start to rotate to the lower bomb side, and this is where Jacob can start to strike. Two shots he's seen, and they dive downstairs. Vinny 
Needs to hold up in the back lines of the rafters. Art will fall, but so will Lee as in trade. Two more line up, but Vinny couldn't connect the kill on the second man. Three on three, Bomb Plant needs to be secured. CT's in no position to deny it. Actually, Yuri may be an interesting prospect. Right here against AKS. Oh. No, Azza has his back, but doesn't have himself. K Serato gets a kill. JKS seen, and that's two frags found now. Jacob over at Double Doors being predicted against. He's going to make his way up towards observation. AK, windows are closed. And Henny, not going to check this position. He will now we'll open up that window. Bomb being seen by Jacob. When's he going to strike? Tap up. Seeing them. Takes Keserato down. Knows roughly where Henny might be, or does he? Stood up in the rafters. Second tap as well. And Jacob over towards Double Doors. Going to open it up. Try and force him off position. Just try and stall for time at this stage. Henny got no kit. So Jacob's basically won the round. We'll take a 3k. And 100 Thieves will get to 14. And the honorary Australian, Jacob. Oh, what a big clutch. That is so big. And he was the lurker outside, Jay. All his job was to do, make sure we're cutting off the rotations from the outside players trying to get into secret. And he's the one that wins out the round. But you look at how Azza was able to back up JKS. That bomb could have gone down. Azza gets a huge kill out through looking into decontamination. Fury up. In a two-on-one, aren't able to bring that together. Well played coming out from Jacob, just playing his, playing the time on the bomb. And a half-by attempt from Fury up, allowing 100 Thieves to play for OT. This should be a 15th round, unless somehow the buy with the MP9 and the Swag 7 can do some damage. Art facing in against Liao, trying to do some damage, Takes gets taken out eventually. Or okay, Kesarot and Vinny will at the moment, but Art 45 HP. This half by not working well for Fury, 100 Thieves. Going to be in a very good spot right now to force us to match point. Unless somehow, some way, these two upgrade weapons can do something. You're able to find something against down one player, taps up to Jacob, does not work out. So now they're suppressed away from the site. They can walk in and they can get up on plant. This round is basically over here, Ooh. I say that. And Henny sprays through, trying to do damage to Grat's faction next up. Max 7 moves in, but JKS has the angle and fires through that smoke. Good deagle play, but not to be. Seven match points for 100 Thieves. Furia about to lose control of their undefeated streak. And Jay, what I want to touch on is the T sides to come out from 100 Thieves so far in in Pro League. We saw against EG, they got nine rounds, three on T. Uh, against Liquid, one round on T. Uh, against Chaos, three rounds on T. And Genji a couple of days ago, one round on T. They have really struggled on the T side over the course of all the past five best of threes in Pro League so far. And they've really started to come into their own. They have won like seven of their rounds on, on T side, only allowing Furia to get one in this second half. What a second half it's been as well. One final execute and JKS goes nuclear. Takes out three, does get shut down towards the outside, but Henny and Vinny are the last two players left, both in similar positions, both basically locked out of sight. Furia are furious as 100 Thieves are now less than 40 seconds away from claiming this map and claiming this series and destroying what has been an, un an unprecedented and flawless run from Furia here in Pro League. And Vinny just can't make his way in, neither can Henny. This is over. 16 to 8, 100 Thieves taking Furia's map pick, ending their undefeated record and taking an all-important series for their Pro League campaign. And that's huge. That's really big from 100 Thieves. And I, I tell you what, Jay, it, 